Hi guys, this is Sophie Rose Sims and welcome to my brand new channel. Just thought I'd start off by telling you a little bit about myself and then we can go more into describing the build that I'm creating in this video. So as you may have guessed, my name is Sophie. I live in Bristol with my boyfriend and my little miniature schnauzer puppy and yeah, I'm, I'm 24. I am currently working full time, which means that really I only get to play The Sims on the weekend because, you know, after a long day at work, I unfortunately have other responsibilities. So most of the time I only play The Sims on the weekend. But to be honest, I've, I've always loved playing The Sims. I, I kind of play it on and off depending on what mood I'm in. And you know, sometimes I can just go months and months without even thinking about it. But then other times I, I'll i go on to it and I'll literally be playing for like five hours and not even know where the time has gone. I'm probably quite a slow player when I play, so nothing really happens in my in the progression. But, oh well, that's, that's kind of just me and... I quite like playing like that. Um, so yeah, I don't think I ever have played The Sims 1, but I do remember having all the expansion packs for The Sims 2 and completely clogging up my dad's computer with all the games. And yeah, I, I think before that I may have played on The Sims 1 on the PlayStation and then I think there was like a one with the black eyed peas or something when they're like in a city but yeah I think from what I can remember now I have I don't know I just get a lot of enjoyment out of playing The Sims um so yeah so I thought I might as well do something a bit more productive with my time all those hours that I spend playing on the sims on my little computer i might as well actually just record what i'm doing and hopefully i can get a bit of following on youtube which would be very nice um yeah so i think i'm probably mostly going to be doing speed builds i'm not quite sure about how i feel about doing let's plays but we, i never know really it might it might happen sometime in the future um so yeah i thought for my first video why not start with one of the most complicated builds i could possibly pick so we have decided to go for buckingham palace which is absolutely massive this is probably going to come in a good three parts and i've tried to make it as accurate as possible although there are I know with this and um, like looking back at what I've done there is a lot wrong with it that I already want to change for instance I think the whole of Buckingham Palace is on three floors and I've only got three floors at the front and the back is just two but to be honest I don't really think there is enough in the game at the moment to actually be able to fully furnish this lot and make it as unique and not use the same items every single time and I think like the top floor is just mostly bedrooms so I don't think I'm gonna bother actually going back and creating that third floor at the back but yeah as you can see in at the moment I I'm just trying to get the the frame of the build and unfortunately that is pretty much just all that happens in this build it, just because it's so big and there's like there's just so much detail that can that needs to go into all of the walls and um, it looks actually quite surprising how like detail well, obviously it's probably not surprising but it like Buckingham Palace is massive and obviously the Queen lives there so it is you know very grand so I think this part I was actually having a lot of trouble trying to get it so that the courtyard bit didn't have a ceiling over the top and 
didn't really quite realize how to get rid of the flaws. I think what we'll what we'll all find with this is me actually learning more as I go. Um, because I, there's probably a, a long bit in this video where there aren't any ceilings or any flaws, and I think I actually fixed it off camera because it was just really, really annoying me. Um, oh yeah, this is where it gets a bit hard because I'm trying to fit on the roof and it's not going on top. It just keeps on going to the bottom. And I, for some reason, just couldn't realise for the longest time how to actually get a ceiling, which, as you know, many of you probably know, if you, which I know now, but if you've got a room, then it's just that little highlighted yellow bit at the top and bottom and you can just click that and voila you get a ceiling and you get a floor. So I think in this bit I'm just trying to add some of the detailing around the build. I think there's a lot of umming and ahhing about what actually needs to be picked. I think one thing you may notice is that I don't actually have all the expansion packs. I don't have a lot of the stuff packs. I have basically just been buying them as I go along and if I feel like I need some items from that pack then then I'll go and buy it but like for instance for this one I decided to I, I bought the vampire pack because I know that there's a lot more older items in there that I could add and that that would actually be fairly useful for this build um, so yeah, here I'm just adding the roof and you may have noticed that the hole in the courtyard suddenly appeared but that was me just off camera trying to sort that out um, and also in a second I'm, I'm going to have to take all this off and add an extra floor. So if any of you have a way of just easily, I don't, I don't even know if it's possible, I don't think it is, but just budging up a entire floor and creating a floor in between then please let me know because that would have saved me a lot of time. Um, yeah one hard aspect of this build actually was just trying to source images so I think in the next build we're gonna have the the whole floor plan and actually decorating the rooms but one thing that was just so hard was just figuring out what it actually looks like inside in terms of the floor plan. I'm, I'm sure this is probably very obvious but the, there isn't on, so what I do when I build I, I take my buildings from a reference and just trying to google images of the floor plan and actually get the full building as a floor plan was very very hard so I had to like kind of piece together some bits, some like couple of images and try and get it so that I could represent what, you know, the, the actual style of Buckingham Palace. I, I mostly did this, like the build of the outside, by looking on Google Maps because actually no, I think it's the maps on, on just the normal maps that um, Apple provide because you can, you can go in and make it 3D. So what I was doing is I was zooming in as much as I ca I could on Buckingham Palace and trying to rotate it and get a very low quality picture of all around Buckingham Palace, which, you know what, in a way it was actually really handy that I could do that, but yeah, it wasn't the easiest which is why probably why it took me so long to build this. That's another thing actually, I am a very slow builder. I've had to zoom this up like quite a lot just to get it in to like under 30 minutes for my video. Um, another thing that I've been doing is I've been watching The Crown to help me with this build because I know that there's going to be a second series coming out soon and I thought I might as well catch up on that but also it's been so helpful with actually understanding like different parts of the build that you might have not known like I know there's this so at the very back there's like 
which we'll see in a bit when I start adding windows, but there's a bit where that, that back entrance is just all glass panels and I saw that come up on one of the episodes of The Crown and I was like, oh no, I don't think I've built this right because it seemed like you could get a car through the back but I don't know if they've changed that now because looking at the image on Google Maps it's a little bit different but yeah, it's actually been really handy for like the inside interior as well and being able to like obviously with the crown it's more in the 1950s so it may as well be that Buckingham Palace has actually changed quite a bit but in terms of actually visualising the grandness of these buildings and and being able to actually see properly what I need to add. Number one it's quite scary because when it actually comes to decorating I don't think I'm gonna have enough items that's one thing about The Sims at the moment is that everything is, isn't is old. I know we've had vintage glamour, we've had vampires, but I think there's quite a few bits in the base game pack as well, but I am not quite sure how well this is going to happen, but we'll see and hopefully I won't have to repeat some of the items too many times. Um, so yeah, now I... I I've got the main structure of the building. At the moment I still only have my two floors, so or do I? I do you. Mm. But yeah, I was trying to add windows at the top there, but for some reason it's quite annoying. You can only have two one window as in you can't place windows on top of one another because it just completely blacks out or blanks out the the actual panelling which is really annoying because looking at all the pictures you can see that you actually have windows and then a little window on the top oh yeah I've only got the one one upper floor at the moment so when I come to realise that actually I'm going to need to add that extra floor I have to take it all down and then put it all the way back up again Oh yeah, I'm trying now to another way of potentially adding a window above a window, but it still doesn't work. Still doesn't work. Yeah, if you find that you never really, if you don't know how to do something on The Sims, then I always recommend actually googling the problem because a lot of people have the same issues and they're found with with The Sims, because it's, it's obviously been out now for a good couple of years, like The Sims 4 anyway, has been out for a good couple of years, that there's a lot of people on, on these forums who have actually had the same problem, and a lot of them have been solved. So that's what I tried to do with the windows, and then quite quickly figured out that there's no, <laughs> there's no way to solve it. You just can't do it. But here we go, we've now got the third floor. And... This will now start looking a bit more like Buckingham Palace and a bit at the moment it's still pretty much just the shell. We start like colouring things in a bit more and adding wallpaper and the windows all the way around the build. So I'm sorry if you find this like a bit repetitive. I realised that perhaps I should have done it a slight bit different and potentially done a quick like shell of the the building and then potentially added the windows as I went but yeah this this now is just it's it's broken up so in this part we have just building the outside and decorating it with windows and whatnot and then our next part will be doing the floor plan and then starting to actually decorate some of the rooms I haven't actually quite decided whether I'm going to like fully furnish the whole build or whether just to do like the main rooms because I'm I'm not quite sure whether there's going to be enough like material online for me to follow like I'm pretty sure that there's probably not going to be like pictures of the queen's room although I, I probably could actually take that from the crown and do something similar I think the, the queen and prince philip have separate bedroom but they're like kind of joined in a 
in like a watery barrier. Oh yeah, I think this is now where I realise how to actually add ceilings and floors. Still not realised. I suppose actually like watching this is fairly frustrating for myself because it was just so obvious when I figured out how to do it. Here we go, that's all done. Right, so, yep, all the windows are just going in. I'm also hoping that my voiceover will get slightly better as the as these as I make more of these videos. I'm kind of finding like a little bit more about myself now is I'm like I'm a fairly quiet person. I would probably describe myself as more of a listener rather than you know someone who could like talk and talk for hours which <laughs> when making YouTube videos is probably not one of the most ideal traits but yeah I think it's just something that I'm going to have to get more used to as I do more and more of these and hopefully if you know you guys actually watch these videos and enjoy them and you could let me know and perhaps give me some tips on how to improve and you know what you what you would like to see from my videos oh this really annoys me actually i wanted some nice white windows why do they not do that window with a white frame i just don't know why it just completely throws the whole build off all my windows are nice and white and there we are with some um, brown window frames <laughs> I think I do change them to black at the end because they like really annoy me but yeah uh, yeah that's like probably a design flaw but maybe we need some more swatches in the sims which is probably never gonna happen so now we're just adding some of the finishing touches I think here I'm still using like my google maps still and try just trying to add some of those like final touches adding all the even more windows. I wonder how many windows Buckingham Palace actually has. It will be far too many. And they're restoring the whole thing as well, aren't they? I think like ten million pounds of our taxes are going towards actually refurbishing Buckingham Palace. Maybe that could be a a new video idea. Is once this is all done I can refurbish it and make it ultra modern and then send it to Buckingham Palace with my great ideas. I'm sure they'll appreciate that. There we go, we're, we're slowly, slowly, slowly getting there. Oh, and then most importantly is having the British flag on the top. Oh yeah, I try it because basically it's like all red gravel inside at the front but there doesn't seem to be any so that will be something that I think I'll have to paint on with the terrain tool but yes most importantly we have the great British flag on the top and then I add some little deck or try to add some little decorations to the top and I'm so 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 glad that I remembered that they had these little glass window things which should really be a proper window it should like cut out the the, the actual floor tiles from underneath it and it should be a proper window but alas it's not I think I did try and just get rid of those tiles but it like you can see through it like you can see through the daylight coming up and it just didn't really look that great there we go oh wait no not even done so next part will be actually properly decorating the the front of the building i think at this point i buy the vampire pack realizing that there's probably like quite a few bits in that pack that i will need but so yeah part two will be decorating getting the floor plan doing some of the interiors i hope you like this video please subscribe to my brand new channel and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you really didn't like it and if you didn't like it then perhaps give me a little comment and let me know why you found it so awful thank you bye